Hey there, sexy. Picking right back up, basically where we left off in the last video. Matter of fact, the EP3 is still sitting in the driveway jacked up, man. Man, y'all ain't gonna believe this. So remember I said that I had some um, AN line up here on the shelf or somewhere that was left over from Khaki. Look at this. Freaking PTFE. That's the one that we took off the car. This is also Dash 6. And, bro, like, it's a little bit long. Like, it's perfect size, and it already has a 90 fitting on one end. So, I need to uh, see if I have a straight or try to get that straight off of that line. I don't know. I should have freaking looked, bro. I could have actually fixed that in the last video. Damn, bro. Look at Gotham over here looking all mean and shit. I haven't even had a chance to go through the comments to see what everybody's opinions are um, on whether to tear down the EP3 and let Gotham eat its soul or to um, or to save the EP3 and just continue struggling to try to get both cars up and going. Currently out here cleaning up the booth though. Well, Braven is. Braven's cleaning up the booth. All I have to do to get this kid off the couch is just tell him to clean the booth because we're gonna start working on the DA. Oh, I ran. Bro. And sure enough, he's up I, off the couch I now. I was sprinting <laughs> like a 100 yard dash, bro. <laughs> yeah, anyhow, the goal is I, I wanna get this fuel line on the EP3 so I can at least move it so it's movable without dumping fuel all over the place. Need to get the DA back out into the booth because uh, we're gonna start cracking on getting that thing ready for paint. Most of the work is done. It just needs a little bit of primer here and there and we found some little pinholes and stuff that we gotta fill in. Um, just go over the thing and make sure it's 100 because uh, once we put the paint down, bro, the paint is down, you know what I'm saying? And then I wanna get Gotham out front so that, um, yeah, can continue working on that. I don't know. We're just trying to get stuff organized around here. Oh, got a problem. I'm at the order of fitting, uh, uh, fitting for the other side of that hose because I don't have any. And the fittings are actually on the hose that came off the car. Um, I was right. This stuff is not PTFE line. So that's probably what happened. It was right there at that bend. The E85 just has been like eating at that rubber hose. So this is just like, it's AN line, but it's rubber hose that has like a, a steel braided like liner over the top of it but ptfe this is the stuff that's actually e85 safe it's like hard plastic inside of there and then it has this steel braided line over the top of it so um this stuff is what you want whenever you're running something like e85 so yeah i pulled i pulled one of those fittings off the old line and it's not the right fitting uh i have to actually get a ptfe fitting in order for it to work so Still have to order something. D -d -d Damn, bro, look at this freaking booth. This thing has not been this clean in forever. Like I said earlier, now I know how to get brave and moving. Just tell him I'm gonna do some work on the DA. <laughs> Cut this fan off so you guys can hear me. It is hot though. Jesus Christ, it's on out here right now. So basically got the Integra all completely ready. Um, well, it's not ready to be sprayed yet, but we're ready to go ahead and put some more primer. Uh, when we're block sanding this side, as you can see, we made it through in a couple of spots on the high build. So uh, we need to do another good layer of high build over here, then block sand this one more time. Focus. But yeah, I do have some high build. Um, mixed up so i'm gonna go ahead and spray this quarter panel 
Got to do that one more time. Let it dry and block sand that. And then we also had a couple little pinholes over here. You're probably not going to see it in the camera, but we have them circled. There's a pinhole there and a pinhole there. So uh, we're going to get those pinholes filled in. Sand that a little bit and hit it with a little bit of primer. I'm probably going to come back and hit some of these edges and stuff. Just touch up the primer here and there. And then we got to go over the whole thing and just sand it one more time. Probably with like 320 grit or something. Get all the dust off of it. And then we'll be ready to start spraying some color, bro. I'm excited, man. We're going to finally get this thing knocked out today. So the idea here is to hopefully get the chassis itself sprayed. I want to move it out and I want to get started on the doors. We got to get the doors and we got to get the fenders and we got to get his hood. He does have a carbon fiber hood, but we are going to be painting a color match hood for this as well. Um, and then we also have to get his rear deck lid. So there's still quite a bit of stuff that has to be painted for the DA. Um, there's still quite a bit of prep work that needs to be done for all the rest of the, remo the removable body parts. For the most part, we've put in a lot of work into the actual chassis itself, but all the removable parts, we haven't really done a whole lot of prep on. So um, I doubt we're going to get them all done today, but we are cracking on it. Ready to get this car done. There's parts all over this damn house from this car, like the interior, the exterior, uh, just body panels, like... Braven has this stuff taking up his entire bedroom. Look at this guy. I don't even have a bedroom. Right <laughs> I don't even have a bedroom. Right there. Dude, how long has it been like that? It's been like that for like months, like, bro. Like almost a year. <laughs> don't even give me this year okay, crap. Okay, think about it. All right, I'm not. All right, all right. I didn't realize that the whole entire van build took place after we got the Integra. Also, when when we got rid of the van and I was making that video, like of all the old clips and stuff. Like the day that you were standing out front when I pulled up and the Integra was already sitting there. So my dad just hit me up and told me that he's right around the block with the new car. So we're going to be here waiting until he gets here. What up? <laughs> I was like, holy shit. <laughs> Dude, it has been a freaking minute, bro. Holy crap, so we've done the van, we've done Gotham and Venom. Um, what else? A lot of work on khaki. We've got a whole ruckus and got it wrecked. Oh yeah, got the ruckus and then wrecked the ruckus. Got the EK sedan, like we've we've done a lot since we've gotten this car. So yeah, it's time to get it done, man. All right, so we got this quarter panel all hit with high build, and then uh, seeing it with the block, the block sanded back down. We realized that we, I didn't we talk about these spots? Yeah. Like we forgot about them, I think. <laughs> but anyhow, we hit it with some guide coat, and then sand, and then block sanded this down. Braven did. Um, as you can see, these are the areas that the guide coat uh, is still remaining, which means those are low spots. Basically, those are the door dings. Like if you go all the way back to the beginning of this, there was door dings going all the way across. Uh, we got rid of most of them with the high build, but these ones are just slightly, ever so slightly too deep. So um, instead of continuing to sand on the primer, we're going to just do a little skim coat of Bondo to fill those in. Sand that down and then unfortunately going to have to hit it with some high build one more time. But we did get these pinholes over here taken care of. So those are done. Uh, basically as far as body work on the chassis everything is done except for those door dings so uh, we're gonna lightly hit those and then hit it with some more primer I just went through my entire gun bro and cleaned the inside outside everything just cleaned it all up to get it ready for paint what this, this is ready for you, oh I'm doing it yeah all right anyhow like I was saying uh, most of that's gonna come off I just wanted to kind of make sure to get it in one shot, but um, I just went through my entire gun, got the whole thing cleaned out. I like to clean it out before I actually put color through it, make sure all the primer and all that stuff's out of it and get it nice and clean. But of course, now we're gonna have to high build that once again. So I'll have to take it apart and clean it again. The problem is with only having one damn gun.
got the car completely sanded. Everything that needs to be primered is primered. Everything needs to be sanded is sanded. Um, got the booth all dusted out. Got the floor all wet. Uh, the only thing I really need to do now is go ahead and go over the car one more time and be sure we get all the dust blown off of it. Braven's over here on cloud nine. And uh, yeah, I got some paint mixed up. I got two uh cups actually ready so i got a little bit of paint in there i got this one ready got one on the gun so hopefully this can be kind of a quick moving process and i don't have to um stop what i'm doing and in the middle of a coat have to fill up my gun so that's the idea but yeah man we're basically ready to start spraying so uh, i'm going to once again strap the gopro on my head and get this done
about the next day. Uh, Braven's at school right now, and I gotta leave here to go pick him up here in a moment. But car came out good, bro. Uh, did four really thick coats. Now, the reason why I did four coats is because we're gonna actually wet sand the color. Um, not just the clear coat, but the colors. So, uh, I, I know a lot of people, I got a lot of comments about this whenever I painted khaki that uh, you're supposed to go over the wet paint with the clear coat so that they can bind and all that. In which this paint is not 100% cured just yet. I am still within the window in order to clear coat it for that purpose, but I'm also going to be wet sanding it. So, um, if you guys know anything about this plastic, whenever you put paint on this plastic and like if I was to hit it like if I was to hit this right now do you see what it's doing like if I was to hit this with air pressure this stuff would just go and blow all over the place right basically what we need to do is peel all the plastic off and then we're probably gonna roll it into the driveway so we don't have to deal with getting it all wet out here because it's all dirt you know to create mud but roll it into the driveway and give it a light wet sand now there's not a lot of orange peel in this bro because i really did i laid it down thick bro whenever you lay it down heavy it lets it kind of lay down and flatten out so there's not a lot of orange peel but i do want to go over it and give it a light wet sand so basically every square inch of this thing once again is gonna get sanded but it's gonna be a wet sand so you guys will see that probably in the next video or so but anyhow that's all i have for you today man uh we are going to continue cracking on the da until the paint is done bro um because that will give braven plenty to do uh as far as doing his wiring he has an alarm system he, he needs to wire up on this get the interior all put back together start putting all the body panels and everything back on um, just start chipping away at this thing until the DA is completely freaking done. You know what I'm saying? So anyhow, I hope you guys are excited about that. I know you've been asking for it for a really long time. There's a lot of stuff on the channel that I want to get cracking on and get done, bro. So I think that this is a really good step towards that direction is getting the DA finished. Not to mention, it's going to clean up a lot of stuff. <laughs> we have stuff laying everywhere for this car. Anyhow, guys, once again, let me know in the comments down below if you guys enjoy those longer clips of like whenever I'm spraying this or I can go through and I can shorten that up to like a 10 second clip rather than like a 10 minute clip whatever it was but I enjoy your guys feedback last time I asked it seemed like the the large majority of you guys of the people who actually comment anyhow um, actually enjoyed it so smash the like button if you're excited about seeing the DA getting done um, throw it in the comments down below of course I appreciate every single one of you guys and all of your support peace out and see you on the next one